Hey, good Monday morning. Monday morning. Yeah, it's the last day of February 2022. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. And uh, I've had different folks reach out to me about yesterday's uh, Facebook feed for our uh, service at St. Luke's. Um, we had a medical emergency uh, during the service. <clears throat> and um, anyway, the person was transported to the hospital and was sent home uh, later in the day. So... Um, yeah, it looks like everything's going to be okay. Some more testing needs to be done. But um, thank you all for your concerns and prayers. And um, yeah, just, just wanted to thank you. But today, you know, as the birds are singing, the sun is shining. The song that, there's a song that's actually been in my head today. And it's, let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. You know, when, when you watch what's happening in Ukraine, when you watch what's happening in Eastern Europe, when we watch what's happening in our world, we wonder what we can do. What difference can we make? I mean, prayer is a powerful, powerful tool in the arsenal of anyone who's a follower of Jesus or a person who has faith. Seriously. <clears throat> Remember when in the Bible... In the book of Exodus, when a new Pharaoh arose <clears throat> and the Hebrew children were enslaved, they had taskmasters over them. And the Bible says that they cried out. They prayed to God. And when God sends someone to deliver them, what, what, who does he send? He sends Moses. And what does he say when he sends Moses? I have heard the cries of my people and I've seen their situation their dilemma and so I hope wherever you are I hope you're praying for peace I hope you're praying for the people of Ukraine I hope you're praying for the world in which we live and I'm praying for a miracle a miracle I don't know what that miracle is going to look like, but I know when a miracle arrived for the Hebrew children, it meant that the most powerful army in that day was destroyed. Yeah, by the hand of God. It meant that those who were once oppressed were now free. It could journey to the promised land the world in which we live is a scary place today but you know let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me not only is prayer a tool for all of us but wherever you are wherever you go make the world a better place by your presence by your words by your actions. Even on social media, don't be snarky with people. Don't try to cause arguments. And don't tear somebody down because you disagree with them. Let there be peace on earth. And let it begin with me. And maybe if we let there be peace on earth and, and if it begins with you and me, then maybe you can spread. Maybe you can spread around the world. And the Prince of Peace will be in the hearts of men and women everywhere. This is Pastor Bill from St. Luke's United Methodist Church in sunny, sunny Harrisville, West Virginia. And uh, yeah, remember, let there be peace on earth. And let it begin with me. Have a great day, everybody. God bless.